Okay, hey, it's me, it's Robert Constantine, the Vision Rehab OT. Uh, and today we're talking about the Brock String. The Brock String is a tool that we use to help strengthen convergence in um, patients that are having trouble seeing up close. So, a Brock String is pretty simple. You're gonna make this in your clinic, of course, therapists. Um, we're gonna use some beads. These beads are about a centimeter in diameter. Um, the piece of string is about 24, 30 inches long. You want it to be long enough so the kiddo can um, see the, the furthest bead away uh, clearly and appropriately. We'll talk about that in just a second. So the Brock string is a neat tool. It uses a phenomenon called physiologic diplopia, which is the idea that your brain can only focus on one point in space at a time. When your eyes are focused on that one point in space, anything in front of there will appear doubled. Anything behind it will also appear doubled. So this is how we use a Brock string to help with convergence. So we're gonna help our kiddos. Um, my one in the clinic has a popsicle stick on the end. It keeps their hand away from their, um, away from their eyes. So we're gonna hold this up. We're gonna hold the other end and watch their eyes to see just what they're doing. And we're gonna have them look at the furthest bead. And what we're gonna do is make sure that they're seeing one bead, that's gonna mean both eyes are focused uh, on one point in space. And then we wanna see, make sure that they're seeing two strings that meet right in the front of that bead, as if one bead is coming from one eye and one bead is coming from the other, and they meet right at the front and form an arrow. It's kind of hard to show on the camera when you make your, um, when you make your Brock string in your clinic, you're gonna see this and know what it looks like. So we then, um, we're gonna hold this up and have them start up at, at a further out bead. So look out at the, uh, the blue bead for me, and then we have them change their focus. Look at the yellow bead. Look at the blue and the yellow, and the blue and the yellow, and their eyes are gonna converge and diverge as we switch from target to target. As it starts to get stronger, we're gonna pull the beads closer towards their nose until we're working just a few centimeters from their, uh, from their nose and they're going back from bead to bead. So as you're working with your kiddos with a Brock string, you wanna see those eyes get nice and still. And that's gonna let you know, hey, we've done a good job focusing on that bead. They're seeing it right most likely. You're gonna be able to watch their eyes as well. If they're having trouble getting both of those in, you may have to guide their hand up, have them try to pinch that bead, and that proprioception from that pinch can help pull the uh, can help pull their eyes in and make that stronger. So, let's take a look at a really tight close-up of some eyes that are working on a Brock string. The blue one. So you'll notice in the video, as the eye started to fatigue, we start seeing little bobbles as we go far and out. And you'll see, you saw those on a couple of the, uh, a couple of the cycles as, as she went in and out. That's gonna let you know, hey, this is still a little bit weak. We need to um, continue to work on this, and we did. So um, I will use this in the clinic. I will also send home a Brock string to be used as part of the home program couple of minutes in the morning and a couple of minutes in the afternoon, really helping to teach that brain to recognize those binocular cues to help it see up close. Um, so that's a Brock strain. Nice and simple, great tool, um, very effective and simple for you to make. Um, I'm Robert Constantine. You can find me on Facebook at Vision Rehab OT. You can find us on YouTube at Vision Rehab OT. Hey, guess what the blog is called? visionrehabot.com. You can go and check that out and there's more information on the Brock string and all sorts of great information involving um, vision and our kids. Um, I will be uh, traveling with uh, PESI again and doing some continuing education. You can go to PESI's uh, website and search for my name and it'll show you the upcoming dates that I have. We do have a webinar coming up and we also have a, uh, a DVD that's available to purchase that has the whole car course on there as well. So anything I can do to help you, help your kids see better, um, please come on out and let me know. 
Thanks.